What's up guys, Coach Kyle here. I want to talk about myth number two when it comes to why you don't use video in your business. And, and here it is, are you ready? You are too old. I, I can't tell you guys how many real estate agents I talk to that, that sit in my class, they show up to hear me speak, they, they, they understand what I'm talking about, but at the end of the day, they feel too old. And, and what's interesting about this is that it's not always what I would claim to be an old person, right? It's, it, it could be somebody who's 35 and, and not savvy with technology. It could be a 65 year old. But, but the reality is this, you are not too old. You, you are not too old. And, and here's how I wanna paint this picture for you. So, so I, I'm a 36 year old husband of almost 10 years, father of a six and a four year old. I, I own several businesses. And, and so here's what I think some of you don't understand. I'm not looking for more millennials in my newsfeed, right? I, I'm, not, I'm not looking for another homie. I'm not looking for another drinking buddy. I'm looking for people in my life that can speak truth to me, that can speak life into me, that, that can, as a grown man, that, that can look at, at what I'm about to touch and go, whoa, 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 buddy. Don't touch that. It's hot. Why do I know that? Because I touched it when I was 36 years old. I need people around me that can help me get better at life. I need mentors. I need men and women that, that have failed and succeeded far worse and far greater than me so that I can keep moving forward in my life. And, and so while you're sitting there feeling inadequate, feeling too old, I'm over here waiting for someone like you to, to be a, a, a beacon of truth in my life. And so I want you to reconsider the, the thought that you are too old for social media. Because I, I don't think that we need more millennials there, right? There, there's plenty of us to go around. What we need is the wisdom, is, is the stories, is the accomplishments of the people that have gone before us. And, and that is you. And, and so I, I want you to consider thinking about this differently. And, and so very quickly, I wanna give you a few quick tips. Number one, don't let technology stop you. Yes, you might need help with technology, but, but ask for it. There, there is no such thing as a dumb question. When, when I'm speaking, I often have people go, hey, I have a question, but I think it's a dumb question. There's no such thing as a dumb question. The, every question leads us to greater enlightenment. So, so ask questions, get people's help. Don't let technology stand in the way of, of who you are and, and everything you have to offer. Number two is become a great storyteller. We love stories. I was, I was reading the other day and, and uh, uh, in, in, this, in this, this book that I was reading, it, it talked about how most people spend 30% of their life daydreaming. But in that 30%, when they're not just daydreaming, it's because they're listening or watching a story that someone else is telling. We love stories, so become a great storyteller. You, you've lived an unbelievable life. You've, you've had incredible successes. You've had an incredible failures. You, you've loved, you've been hurt, you've, you've experienced pain. And so start telling those stories and, and watch people grow in their attraction to you. And, and then the last thing is this. Get out of your own head. Get out of your own head. You have spent so long feeling inadequate, feeling not enough, feeling like this world has passed you by. 
When the reality is this world has been waiting for you to get out of your comfort zone, embrace technology, and start sharing everything you have inside of here and inside of here with us. And, and so this is the formula, I believe, for you, the, the person that says you're too old for social media. We need you. I need you. My family needs you. My business needs you. Get out of your own way so that you can continue to make an incredible difference. And if I can do anything for you, please let me know. If this is your first time watching the video, please subscribe. I would love to, to have you as a part of my audience. And uh, I appreciate you for watching. Talk to you soon. See ya.